The chief of the Russian private military corporation Wagner Group is currently incommunicado. He has not been in the public eyes since his exile in Belarus after his short-lived rebellion was nipped in the bud. Wagner fighters are now reported to be training Belarusian soldiers, but there is no news about its founder Yevgeny Prigozhin. Amid all these incidents, there are rumors of a new Wagner chief who might be taking command very soon. Russian President Vladimir Putin has himself told a columnist working for Russia-based commerce and newspaper that he had in fact met Prigozhin and 35 Wagner commanders at the Kremlin after the mutiny and had sought to negotiate terms for the mercenary group's continued participation in Russia's war against Ukraine. Putin had reportedly given Wagner forces the option to join the Russian military, go to Belarus or retire from service following the rebellion. He also mentioned that during the meeting, he had offered Prigozhin the option to allow Wagner fighters to continue to serve in Ukraine under the leadership of their battlefield commander, Andriy Troshev. This implies that perhaps Andriy Troshev might hem the Wagner group soon. Andriy Troshev goes by the call sign Sedoy, that means grey hair. His call sign refers to the grey colour of his hair. He is a retired Russian colonel and a founding member and executive director of the Wagner group. He was born in April 1953 in Leningrad in the former Soviet Union according to the EU sanctions from December 2021. His associates include Wagner Group founder Dmitry Yutkin who is also a former Russian GRU military intelligence officer. Troshev is also associated with Wagner Group commanders Alexander Sergeyevich Kudretsov and Andrei Bogatov. He is a former employee of the Special Rapid Response Detachment of the Russian Interior Ministry's Northwestern Federal District and is also a veteran of the wars in Chechnya and Afghanistan. For his service in Afghanistan, Troshev was awarded two orders of the Red Star, a Soviet Union decoration for exceptional service. For service in the operation in Chechnya, he was awarded two orders of courage and a medal of the Order of Merit for the Fatherland, second degree. He is said to be directly involved in the military operations of the Wagner Group in Syria, assisting the Russian help to the Syrian president Bashar al-Assad. The European Union sanctions concerning the situation in Syria detail Troshev's position as the chief of staff of the Wagner Group operations in Syria. Days after Wagner's mutiny, Troshev was terminated as head of Wagner's League for the Protection of the Interests of Veterans of Local Wars and Military Conflicts and was replaced by Russian officer Dmitry Podolovsky. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.